Hi guys, this is Kuya Dong. So guys, I'm gonna fix my my VE Commodore slash uh, uh, Chevrolet Lumina uh, because the the headliner already is sagging. So I've been asking for a quote for this for and they quote me a couple of uh, thousand bucks. So I decided to do it my own. So I'm preparing my tools here. I have this uh, kit to open the the light and the other uh, fabric or the the headliner part, so I can access that one. So, for example, the the light, uh, the sunglass uh, compartment, and I have here the. Uh, they called it I think drive uh, driver screw driver I'm not sure what they call this just uh, bought this one in a uh, bunnings so I have the couple of things here I have the brass steel brass I have this uh, plastic brass as well then I have a little screw to access of those uh, 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 sun visor and this is the cleaner and uh, uh, this is the adhesive that I'm gonna, I gonna use I bought this one in super cheap and later on this one is the foaming cleaning the carpet or upholstery and that's the one the aftermarket uh, headliner cloth uh, fabric so that's the one uh, I'm gonna replace to my old sagging uh, fabric uh, I bought that one in eBay it just cost me 59 bucks so let's go guys I'm gonna use my GoPro now so that uh, I can uh, uh, show you the video which part did I uh, ins uh, dismantle and install so let's go let's start actually this is not my <laughs> profession i'm a chef so i am trying to save money because of this pandemic so there it is i wear gloves for safety reason and did you see this this is a container why i'm preparing this is i'm going to put all the screw this is four one two three four so i'm gonna put this one in the uh, each side of the uh, the seats, like like for example, front seat. I'll put this one in the front seat. Uh, left side, right side. All the screw will be there, and at the back. So, whatever screw or parts, the small parts that uh, I will uh, unplug, I will just put that one there so that uh, it's not gonna be mixed and it's sort out so let's start it so we're gonna start this side uh, uh, i will use this i think there's a pain on here like a pain so uh, oh see I already drop it. Easy. All right, one. So next is. Uh. Oh, there we go. This here. Shit. Ah, okay, okay. I thought I break it. So <laughs> this is the one. So this is lip side. So now I know how to remove it. And this, I think this is the one. The pin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is one. 
Right. Of the same size. Oh, I see it. You can just leave the screw in here so that it's safe. Oh, that's easy. All right. put the pin right. so I'm done with removing the headliner but uh, uh, the problem is I did a big mistake I never put some uh, like linen or trash bag just to cover the seat. Look at the seat, all are the the foam, the debris from the foam, it's all over. It's pretty hard to remove if you're alone. So I advise to make it maybe uh, two person if uh, you're not professional like me. I don't know how to. Uh, uh, so yeah so that's my uh, one mistake I never put some uh, cover so all the the debris is in my seat so first what I did is I removed all the uh, sun visor uh, screw and this one I just returned I don't uh, uh, disconnect the wire because it's really hard then uh, all the uh, like the support holding support in the side i've been removing it already and the lights there it's uh it's really easy to remove you just disconnect from the headliner and this is the the light that i remove <laughs> the brick light so yeah that's it i will uh brush all the uh, I close this car and I brush all the headliner. I will show you later. I remove the old headliner and the foam. So this is how it looks, guys. After I remove the headliner, that's the one. See. Even I did not started to remove the the foam from the fabric, but it's just uh, detached by their own because of the the edges of the uh, the fabric so now i will bring it the back and i start to remove this brown uh, foam foamy things then let's go we start so that's the headliner so this is my working people i will start to remove it now i will brush it
done brushing with the headliner this is the outcome it's not bad but this one cannot be removed but I think I completely sweep it yeah so next I will uh, put the new foam the fabric and I will uh, try to to measure it how long or how short I gonna uh, going to cut so let's start so before I begin I'll need to change this glove so that uh, the dirt will not go to the new uh, fabric Now I just turn it and I will I will start to cut in here cut on the edges and glue it again see I'll start to cut on the edges there's a problem here Start. Okay, this is the finished product. Although it's not perfect, you see here, but it's not bad. You see also in this side, on this side as well. But overall, for a non professional, it's not bad. Look. So this is our uh, VE Commodore headliner. Right, we will we will install now this one. Let's see what happens.
job well done. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. Look. Better than... At least next time I have an experience. See? It's not bad. What's that? Where is that? Yeah. yeah. Well, good. It's not bad for uh, chef repair the headliner. <laughs> okay, that's it, guys. It's very tiring. It's difficult if you are alone, but it's alright. Okay. Thank you for watching.